Hey guys, thanks for coming back. This is the last in our series of messages called Made for More. Uh, Micah was the one who actually introduced me to this uh, potential series. He got me a couple books to read over the summer, and I think it's been uh, very good. Uh, so let me remind you some of the things we've talked about. We've talked about six shifts. The first shift was more effort to more Jesus. Um, the contention in this series is that we as Christians are made for more, uh, to experience more of Christ. We're, we as a church are made for more, to see more people come to Christ and, be, and become disciples. Uh, and how do we do that? Well, it's not more effort, trying harder. It's uh, more Jesus, depending on Him, uh, His power working in us. Second shift was more from more volunteers to more masterpieces. Typical churches, kind of the pastors line up, they make slots for how many volunteers we need to do music and children and youth and technology and ushers and greeters and things like that, and then they fill people in. Instead, we want to shift to more masterpieces, realizes that everybody is called by God to make disciples, fill every corner of the earth with the fullness of God, and everybody has a unique calling, a unique spiritual gifts and passions and story, and we want to help them understand that and then serve the Lord with those. Many people will serve in the community. They'll never serve in the church. Uh, most people will find most of their ministry is Monday through Saturday as they're trying to pastor people far from God. Some people will serve in the church and find that that's where God wants to use them. The third shift is more from more guilt to more love. How do you motivate people to serve Christ and to serve their friends and family members and neighbors who don't know Jesus, uh, is it out of duty, out of guilt? No, it's out of love. We realize how much God loves us, how much Christ loves us. We get so filled with His love that it gives us more than enough energy and motivation to love other people. The fourth shift was from more hierarchy to more missionaries. Uh, to move the focus from the pastors, like Micah and me and Chris and Beth and the leaders in the church, to all of us being missionaries. Everyone in this church, I like to say we have 600 people in this church if everybody showed up at the same time. If all 600 of us were out during the week and saw ourselves as missionaries, ministers, pastors to people far from God, what a difference it would make. How much more uh, we would experience in our own lives and we as a church would see. And then the next one was more programs to more mission fields. Uh, the church can't put on more programs that will be enough to saturate every corner of this city uh, with the fullness of Christ. Uh, we need more mission fields. We need all of our people to say, wait a minute, I have mission fields all over this city. I have, I'm on an athletic team. Uh, I'm on a cheerleading squad. I'm, I'm in a club. Uh, I'm in a neighborhood. I have family members who don't know God. I have people at work who are far from Christ. I have classmates at school. That is my mission field, and we want people to see that all through the week. So God has a great plan. He outlines it in Ephesians, that the church, people that follow Christ, are His plan to reach the world. It sounds great. But then Paul introduces us to our enemy, Satan. He doesn't want all of us seeing ourselves as missionaries and pastors and ministers everywhere we go. He doesn't want to see us all using our gifts to make a difference in the church and in the world. And so Paul writes at the end of Ephesians 6, verse 10, Finally, be strong in the Lord and in His mighty power. Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. So now I want to ask you a couple questions. First, do you experience spiritual warfare? Are there strongholds in your life, weaknesses, uh, vulnerabilities that you find Satan exploits at weak moments? That's the first question. The second question, how have you benefited from this series, Made for More? 
I don't know, maybe we could go back at this point and uh, we could list the kind of the five things that uh, we put on there, but what has been impactful for you? I'll just give you a couple of them to remind you. Uh, I've quoted the uh, um, Home Depot motto, you can do it, we can help. We want to have that attitude as a church. You have the gifts, you have the passions, you have the story. We can help you know how to share with your family members and friends who may not know God. Uh, another principle is all our missionaries and pastors to people far from God. It's not just the pastors. All of us are missionaries and pastors to people in our life that don't know God. Uh, a third point we've made in this series is pastors are to equip, not to dominate, not to take over and do everything. And the last one is from more guilt to more love. The reason we care about serving people in the community people that don't know God in our lives. It's because we're filled with God's love for us, and we want to share it with them. All right, those are two questions. Hope you'll talk about them. Go through your journal. Pray for each other. Have a great time. Thank you.